वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू ड्रो ग्राफ बेस्ड ऑन इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क नाउ बिफोर आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू ड्रो ग्राफ बेस्ड ऑन इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क देर आर सम बेजिक थिंग्स दैट यू शुड नोट डाउन सी वेन एवर वी ड्रो ग्राफ फॉर एनी इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क एट द टाइम first of all all you need to do is you will have to provide voltage sources as short circuit and current sources as open circuit so that is the first thing that you should do voltage sources as short circuit and current sources as open circuit after that whatever elements are there in electrical network that can be considered as branches and those branches or you can say those objects that we can connect as per the nodes which are getting formed in the circuits so let us try to understand that how to do that so for that i'll be explaining you two examples so let us have first example over here so you see here we are having one electrical network in that first of all we need to see voltage sources and current sources so you can observe here we are having one voltage source so i should not consider this as element it will be short circuited so i am just providing short over here and over here also and this current source that should be open circuit so i am considering that as open circuit now first of all we need to identify how many nodes are there in this circuits so you can observe if i say this is my node number 1 so this node number 1 that is connected at r1 and other terminal of r1 that will be node number 2 now you can observe here node number 2 that is connected with capacitor and here voltage source is short circuit so here i'll be having node number 3 now this is open over here as this is current source now you see this node number 3 that is also connected over here with this resistor and this node number 1 that is also connected with this resistor as this is short circuit now you see this node number 1 that is connected with this resistor r2 and here we are having another connection with inductor so this will be my node 4 and this inductor is connected with node 3 so all the nodes now that is connected with this circuit now all i need to do is i need to draw this circuit step by step now before i draw circuits let us give naming of branches with elements which is there in this circuit so this r1 let us say that is element a this r2 let us say that is element b this r3 let us say that is element c this l let us say that is element d and this c let us say that is element e so i need to connect all these elements in between nodes as per the connection which i have shown so now what i am doing is i am just representing node first so this is node 1 this is node 2 here let us say we are having node 3 and let us say here we are having node 4 now you can observe in between one and two node branch a is connected so let us connect branch a by one and two node now you see in between node one and three this resistance with branch c is connected so in between one and three resistance with branch c is connected now you see in between node 2 and 3 this capacitor is connected with branch e so in between 2 and 3 you can observe this capacitance is connected with branch e now you can observe in between node 1 and 4 branch b is connected which is resistance r2 so in between 1 and 4 we are having branch b which is of resistance r2 in between 4 and 3 you see this inductor 
with branch D is connected. So I am connecting branch D in between node 4 and node 3. So this will be a graph which is there with this electrical network. Now my dear students, this is simple graph, right? This is not directed graph that you should understand. In directed graph, we should show direction of current or voltage. Here I am not showing you direction of current or voltage. This is normal graph, right? So first of all, we should do practice of normal graph in which first of all, you should short circuit voltage source and open circuit current source. And then you should identify elements. All the elements should be represented by branch and then provide nodes. And as per the nodes, you should connect the graph. That is the basic process. Let us have second example. So you see here we are having another circuit in which first of all we need to see voltage sources and current sources. So as I have explained voltage sources that should be short circuited. So I am providing short circuit over here with this voltage source and this current source that should be open circuited. Right. Now let us give naming to all the elements which are there in the circuit. So I am saying all these elements are branches now. So R1 that is let us say branch A, R2 is branch B, L1 that is branch C, R3 let us say that is branch D, L2 let us say that is branch E and C let us say that is branch F. And these branches are connected with nodes. So now I need to give naming to nodes. So let us say over here we are having node 1. Now you see this is shorted over here. So here also we will be having node 1 only, right? As this is short. Now you see here we are having node 2 and here you see we are having node 3. Now see this is open over here. So another node that will be over here that is node 4. So that is how nodes are there with this circuit and branches that I have shown you with each of the elements. So when you want to draw electrical network, then first of all you should plot nodes. So here I am having node 1, here I am having node 2, here I am having node 3 and here I am having node 4. Now my dear students, simply we just need to connect branches in between nodes. So you see this branch A which is resistance R1 which is there in between node 1 and 2. So now I am connecting branch A in between 1 and 2. Now you see this resistance R2 which is branch B which is connected in between 1 and 3. So now I need to connect branch B in between 1 and 3 which is resistance R2. Now you see in between 2 and node 1, branch D is connected which is resistance R3. So in between 2 and 1, another branch that I need to connect that is branch D which is resistance R3. In between 1 and 3, another branch which is C that is connected as per that is inductance L1. So I need to connect branch in between 1 and 3 that is inductance L1 which is branch C. Now you see here in between node 2 and node 4 inductor L2 which is branch E that is connected. So in between 2 and 4 I need to connect branch E that is inductance L2. And in between 4 and 3 this capacitance which is branch F is connected. So in between 4 and 3 this branch F is connected which is capacitance C. So this is how we can identify graph over here for this given electrical network. So my dear students, only few things that you should note down. Voltage sources should be short circuited, current sources should be open circuited, then identify all the elements as a branches and then provide connection as per nodes. That is the basic process. But this is not oriented graph or you can say directed graph. In oriented graph, 
or in directed graph you will have to show direction here i am not showing you direction direction doesn't mean that current is flowing exactly in that direction but when you show direction and if current is positive at a time you can say current is flowing in that direction but if current is negative then you will be saying that direction is having negative current right so you can show direction randomly there is no issue with that but when you calculate current at that time if it is positive you can say in direction current is flowing so that is what the case which we study in oriented graph or directed graph but this is normal graph which is there with electrical network i hope you have understood this still if any confusion is there just post that in comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video